Hey, it's Joseph here. Relief maps such as bump maps can make the material look more realistic without huge impact on your model or the rendering time. The difference can be very subtle at times, but if you're looking for that extra kick of realism in your materials, then the bump map might be the solution that you have been looking for. There are many different types of relief maps. Normal maps, bump maps, displacement maps, vector displacement maps, the list goes on. So the whole topic can be very technical and confusing. So let me be light and quick. So if you have been doing some renderings, you might have come across the term called the bump maps. Sometimes the material package that you get from the online might have included bump maps and you might have wondered what are these black and white images that are included in here and how am I supposed to use it? Or you might have guessed from the name of it, they are supposed to give bumps. And if you did, you're correct. So if I were to cut a section of the material, the lowest point will be the black and then it goes to gray and then the protruding areas will be the white. So for example, if you were to take a look at the wood floor material, the planks of wood would have been sanded or finished in a way that forms even surfaces, but the grains and the knots would form slightly lower or higher areas on the planks. Therefore, the bump maps can be used to represent the unevenness of the material. Applying bump maps are not only easier than modeling every single element of your material, such as like the knot of the wood or the grains or every single mortar joints of your brick, but also beneficial because you're not throwing all that geometry onto your computer to figure out how it is supposed to act with light and everything. So it is important to remember that it is not increasing the polygon count and the geometry is not actually there. Enscape would read bump maps and pull tricks when it is calculating where our shadows and reflections need to be. So if your image based material has any recessed or protruding or bumpy areas, try using the bump maps. Tiles, bricks, wood, rocks, carpets, and even metal plates would look nice. So you can easily make your own bump mess by just desaturating the image and perhaps adding a bit of extra contrast. And if you find that too much to do, not to worry. If you just add the colored image onto bump map section of Enscape, then it will do the processing for you. So to add that bump map onto Enscape, if you add color maps as relief or bump map in Revit or Rhino, that will be interpreted by Enscape as bump maps. Find Enscape materials icon here and click on it. So let me first of all just snap this window to one side and Enscape onto the other and just kind of look at this angle right here. And I can just simply click on this use albedo on Enscape materials window of SketchUp. And then the change of the material will immediately show on the Enscape side. And that is without and that is with. Enscape calls the image or the color map that is being used for image based material as albedo. And if you happen to not notice any effect of this then you can just move this slider up to intensify the effect and I think that is a bit too much so I'm just gonna reduce that back down to perhaps somewhere around here and it could also be because you simply don't have enough of light or shadow that is coming on the area hold down your shift key as well as right mouse button and just move your cursor left and right to see where the light will be affecting your bumps so if I want to add bump maps to different material what I need to do is just just find the material on the SketchUp side. Perhaps I can look at this break right here. And then you can just hit B for short or this paint bucket tool and then click on the sample paint or hold down Alt key to just sample this material here. As soon as you do that, the break material becomes current on SketchUp side and the Enscape side as well. And I'm just gonna move that slightly closer so you can see the effect. So stand about there and then just click on use albedo. And then I can just kind of move the slider different ways to see where the effect is where I want it to be. So next up is the floor tiles. So I can just sample this one here and then just look down on that piece there and then just click on use albedo. And then if I just move it a little bit, it will have that bump on those areas. And I can just simply go closer to see that effect. And perhaps I can increase that slightly more. So there you go. So the next one would be painted plaster material on this side right here. 
So if I just sample that and you will notice that because this is not image based material, you don't have use albedo option. In that case, I can just add the bump map myself and just click on this and find the noise map. So basically noise map or noise texture is just black dots that are just randomly spread across on the image. And you can just Google that if you want or just make your own on Photoshop. And if you search noise texture on Google, just go through any of these images and use that and I'm just going to use one that I have and you can see the noise here and as soon as I move it kind of goes away and if that ever happens to you what you can do is you either click on this or the bump tap here and check on this box right here and you'll be able to set your noise size in meters so this one I can just type in one and perhaps one here as well and you'll notice that difference here and I think that is just tad too much so I'm just going to go back to general tab here inside and just kind of lower that value so that it's not as prominent. So it is somewhat there, maybe bring out a little bit more. So there you go. And in addition to the bump maps, there's another relief map kind called the normal maps and it gives you the superb results. This relief map not only communicates the amount of bump, but the directions as well. And this is a fairly new feature of Enscape and Revit, SketchUp, Rhino can take this type of images. So just add them into the same place as the bump maps and let Enscape do its thing. Bump maps can make a huge impact on overall realism of your rendering. So do make sure that you add bump maps to the area that are close up or into the area that has a very large significance to your specific project. So give it a few tries with the bump maps and let me know how your results were by leaving comments down below. If you have enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue watching this type of videos. And thank you for watching. Bye.